Gaetano Badalamenti was a mafioso belonging to Cosa Nostra, who, with his ambition, his trafficking and his relationships, managed to leave a permanent mark in the history of Italian and American criminality. His involvement in dark and terrible episodes such as the murder of Giuseppe Impastato and the famous investigation on drug trafficking known as Pizza Connection has contributed to building his reputation. Specifically, the acclaimed feature films that recounted some of these events have made Badalamenti's name become familiar to the general public. Worth mentioning is the 2000 film I Cento Passi, The Hundred Steps, by Marco Tullio Giordana, where the title refers to the distance between the boss's house and that of Impastato. But who was Gaetano Badalamenti? How did his life unfold and how did he manage to reach the heights of power in the criminal world? Well, Gaetano's origins are humble. His family's poor and large, and when he was born in 1923, he already had many brothers and sisters. He spends his childhood in his hometown, Cinissi, a small Sicilian town now known for the international Falcone Borsalino Airport. The child attends school for a short time and at the age of 10 is instead initiated in the job as a cattle breeder. During his youth, he begins to show the first signs of a rebellious spirit and attracted to crime as evidenced by a simple complaint against him for stealing cattle. In 1941, he was enlisted in the Royal Italian Army, but shortly before the Allied forces landed in Sicily in 1943, he became a deserter. Just three years later, he began to be charged with numerous crimes related to murder and injury. And in 1946, he was hit with a warrant for conspiracy. Now, this series of events leads him to flee Italy. He joined his elder brother Emanuele, who had settled down and started his own business in the USA, opening a supermarket and a gas station in Michigan. Badalamenti's stay in America, however, is short because the US authorities discover his status as an illegal immigrant and send him back to Italy. So once in Italy, Badalamenti manages to escape getting sent to jail through insufficient evidence, and once free from any persecution of the law, he decides to approach the boss Cesare Manzella and the clan of Cinisi. Now, in this group, Badalamenti begins his criminal career and in a short time expands the economic and political interests of his clan, associating with Luciano Leggio and creating a transportation service for the construction of the airport at Palermo. Now, the location of the airport was most likely a choice influenced by Gaetano himself and by the other mafiosi of Cinisi. Now, Badalamenti, in the same period, was interested in the smuggling of foreign cigarettes, but in 1953, he was discovered and arrested by police authorities of Palermo after he resisted arrest. And thanks to his trafficking, the mafioso comes into contact with the boss Angelo La Bavera, Salvatore Greco, Buscetta, and several other well-known criminals. Now, the Cinisi gang boss, Manzella, is involved in the first mafia war, and his choice to support Greco immediately makes him a target of the rival clan. So Manzella is killed while starting his Alfa Romeo Giulietta car, and this event then triggers reactions that will impact the lives of several characters. His death leads to Badalamenti becoming the new head of the Cinisi group in 1963. Not only that, Manzella's nephew is Giuseppe Impastato, who, still as a teenager, is traumatized by the brutal murder. Later, he'll engage in the fight against the Mafia and will be assassinated at the behest of the same Gaetano. So if the murder of Manzella allows Badalamenti to rise to power, at the same time, it forces him into a life of hiding because the authorities connected him to the crime. Now, in this period, he's wanted many more times and is able to return to Cinisi only after six years, following another acquittal through lack of evidence. In short, however, he's forced to stay in the province of Milan. But here, he continues his trafficking and to maintain ties with other Sicilian mafiosi. In the 70s, he starts an important trade in narcotics, involving also an uncle living in Detroit and the mafia clan linked to him. He quickly becomes one of the major traffickers of heroin thanks to the alliance with Salvatore Catalano, and this will lead him to find himself in the eye of the storm with the Pizza Connection investigation. So what was the Pizza Connection? Well, at the end of the 70s, the FBI starts one of its most complex investigations related to drug trafficking. The judicial investigation lasts from 1979 to 84, and numerous personalities of the Italian justice system, such as Falcone, are involved in the various operations. 
It all begins with the discovery of several suitcases full of heroin at one of New York's airports. At the same time, Italian justice seizes other suitcases containing $500,000 at Palermo Airport. Now, the two events seem to be connected and the police forces of the two countries begin to collaborate and keep many mafiosi under, under surveillance by using wiretaps and undercover agents. Badalamenti also ends up under the attention of justice and the FBI recovers some of his coded phone calls that talk about drug shipments. Now, through these wiretaps, Gaetano's plan to meet with his nephew, Pietro Alfano, in Madrid is discovered. Pietro, known as Pete, was the owner of a pizzeria in Illinois. And according to the investigation, the first point of contact in the USA for heroin trafficking. Badalamenti is stopped, arrested in Madrid by Spanish, US and Italian police forces. And the mafioso taken to New York ends up on trial and the investigation against him and 18 other defendants is called the Pizza Connection. So after a trial lasting two years, Badalamenti is sentenced to 45 years in prison. Badalamenti remains in prison in the USA and will be sentenced by the Italian justice only much later, in 2002, for the murder of Giuseppe Impastato, called Papino. Now, Impastato was a journalist and radio host, as well as a nephew of the boss Manzella, who followed an anti-mafia ideology, and through his radio shows, denounced the mafia and politicians that were entangled with them. And among these were also Badalamenti, who Impastato insultingly called Sitting Tano. Now, Papino tried to enter politics, but before the outcome of the vote, of the vote itself, he was killed. In reality, they tried to make his death appear like a suicide to stain his reputation. And only much later, thanks to the commitment and the accusations of his brother and his mother, Felicia, the truth emerged and his death was realised to be the result of the Mafia. Gaetano Badalamenti died two years after being given his life sentence in Italy. He passed away in a Massachusetts hospital from a heart attack. The mafioso is 80 years old and will be remembered for the great power that he acquired in the international heroin trade. So there you have it, another interesting character in the history of organised crime. So we hope you found it interesting. We still have loads more fascinating videos in the pipeline, so why not click on that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on them. So until next time, folks, ciao.